Hey there everybody, welcome back to DAV Tech. It is really nice to see all of you guys here again. If you are new here to the channel, my name is Dave and I do tech reviews here. And today for you guys, I'm hoping I can paint a pretty clear picture of what it's like to live with the Galaxy S23 Ultra every single day for a month basically, because that's kind of what I've been doing. And if you've been here for like the last month, you've seen my comparing the S23 Ultra to the Fold 4 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And it's pretty interesting, not only looking at a phone in a vacuum, but also looking at it alongside other devices. It kind of gives you a bit of a nuanced picture of different facets of the phone. And there's a lot to tell here. So today I'm going to tell you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs, and the diagonals of what makes this phone the 23 Ultra. I want to give a shout out to two commenters in the comment section from my 14 Pro Max versus S23 Ultra video. One of the reasons I love YouTube and doing YouTube so much is being able to interact with you guys and also garner your insights. I'm one human being, I'm gonna miss some things. And so it's cool when you guys come chime in in the comment section and you point a couple of things out and give your own user experience and your insight. But I gave a slight nod to the iPhone 14 Pro Max because I felt like both handed modes were comparable and they're both really good work well every time you want to use them but they noted that there are actually other one-handed mode software features in the settings for the no ultra like for example being able to just swipe down and access your notification panel without having to actually reach all the way to the top shelf to pull it down and so i have to say a thank you to those commenters samsung's really done a lot to address um the fact that most people are going to have a hard time just wielding this one-handed and they've done a lot of things in the software to address those things. When I started my YouTube channel, I started it with a Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the S Pen. I would set it up on a tripod, I would use the pen to start and pause the video. I really loved that phone for a lot of different reasons. At the time, it was really powerful. You could do a lot of different multitasking with no problem. Using the S23 Ultra reminded me why I love that phone so much. You know, after the Note 10 Plus, I took a little bit of a break and switched over to like Pixel devices and other phones. Just because for me anyway, I felt like there was a bit of a compromise with all of the software features, but at the cost, unfortunately, of some like software lag and hitching and things like that. Largely, the phone worked well and I loved that phone, but it was a trend that I was sort of starting to notice and feel that I felt like I was compromising all of the cool things for like a nice user experience. I loved the S Pen at the time and I love the S Pen now here on the S23 Ultra. So I work as a therapist and using the S Pen on the Galaxy Fold 4 is amazing to use it as a signing pad and I can do that here. And this is, you could argue, more easily pocketable because it's a thinner profile device. Being able to just pull out the pen and your screen turns into a notepad is something I've loved so, so much. Now I'm thinking of things all day, all the time and being able to just at a moment's notice pull out the pen and start writing away is something that uh it's a cool experience man i mean not everyone's going to need or want that but for someone like myself that loves tech and is always looking at how tech devices can accentuate one's lifestyle like the iphone does for a lot of people right in terms of the way that ecosystem works so seamlessly together stuff like this is why i love tech and stuff like this is kind of the thing that I'm looking for to accentuate my lifestyle the way the Fold 4 does. Battery life. Forget it, it's just awesome. Um, if you don't believe me, you can watch a bunch of other YouTubers that are reviewing this thing and they would all say the same thing. Working as a licensed therapist, this is what like a typical day can look like. I wake up at about eight in the morning, start writing up my treatment plans and my monthly summaries for the clientele that I have been speaking with. I'm either receiving phone calls from case managers or from referral agencies for new clientele, communicating with like insurances. Then I actually go and meet with my clients for their therapy sessions. Then I get home and I'm writing up the clinical notes for all of those sessions. I can do all of that from the time that I wake up at about 8 a.m. And in that span of time, also either listening to videos when I get my workout either late at night or the first thing I do when I work up in the morning, or if I'm listening to podcasts on the way to different homes or to the office from 8 a.m. until I get home, sometimes around like 7-ish, I would say, or 7.30. And the phone's still kicking at like 40%. 
50% sometimes. For me, honestly, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was like the battery king. It's met its match here. It's gonna last you all day. Rest assured. If you're enjoying the video so far and want to stay up to date with what it is I'm doing next, hitting the subscribe button is the best way to stay up to date. Um, the thumbs up button helps me out a lot. And leave me a eggplant emoji if you're thinking this 23 Ultra might be your next new phone. Um, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna, I actually have to go, um, the S23 Ultra, man, much like the Fold 4 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max, you can just play whatever you want to play at maximum settings, and the phone is just going to fly through it. Something interesting to note, though, is that on, say, like Genshin Impact, and I use that as a benchmark because that's one of the most absolutely graphically intensive games that there are on the market, that can run max everything at 60 frames per second, beautifully. There's supposed to be an update coming that allows the S23 Ultra to play Genshin Impact at 120 frames in the way that you can on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm interested to see how that update looks on the Galaxy S23 Ultra because at 60 FPS max everything. The game runs amazingly and again it's a large beautiful screen that looks like it's just a panel of glass that you're holding in your hand and it just runs beautifully. So if that's something that you're concerned about how this phone fares with different games literally there's nothing to worry about it can run if you can run genshin at 60 fps max everything you're basically covered for anything and everything all right guys so i made a mistake um all of the camera pictures and video that i took on the s23 ultra are completely gone um thankfully my great friends um rj from rj tech and alex from alex gear and tech sent me over some of their samples that they've taken in their video reviews um, I would definitely check out their channels. They are super awesome. Um, so I'll put those in the video for you guys, let you decide what you think, like I typically do in these videos. If you want to see any of the samples that I have taken myself, um, I would check out my comparison review with the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Galaxy Fold 4. But outside of that, enjoy. Practice it. Hey guys, so just waking up from a nap um, and came over here to finish editing the video to get it out to you guys. And I wanted to make sure that I'm as impartial as possible as with all the reviews that I do on this channel, no matter how much I love the device, I always try and make sure I'm painting, um, you know, a picture of the things that I enjoy and the things that could be better. In this instance, despite all of the software refinement and pretty much every other facet of the phone, there's still an undeniable shutter lag, especially in like that 200 megapixel mode when you're taking pictures. Um, this is something that's been lingering on Samsung devices for quite some time, unfortunately, and it seems to have carried over here, which is a bit of a disappointment, again, just because everything else has been um, just so polished and refined. Um, I'll let you guys decide if that's a problem for you, but it's something that I definitely notice. In a lot of ways, the S23 Ultra reminded me why I fell in love with the Note 10 Plus all those years ago. This, for me, um, I don't know, I think the complete package here with the amazing battery life, the no compromise in terms of software experience, and getting all of the additional benefits that you love from what Samsung packages in these phones. And um, this has been a, a really fun month for me. And hopefully for you guys, if you get this phone and you're using it for an entire month, 
it's just as fun of a month for you as it's been for me. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. Again, if you want to see up to date with what it is I'm doing next, the subscribe button. The subscribe button is the best way to do that. And as always, guys, peace, love, adios. Have a fantastic remainder of your day and stay awesome. Bye.